Hey guys, welcome back to my video. I wanted to jump on here and share one really cool thing with you, but then I grabbed some other things to share with you also, um, like my gather pumpkin with the lid and handles. My friend picked this up for me. And it doesn't have the seal like the other pieces, um, but isn't that adorable? So she got that for me and the Give Thanks mug. But what I got today I wanted to share with you and then we'll get into some of the other stuff that I picked up in my travels today. This right here, they're so adorable. I always say that, either so cute or so adorable as I pick them up and they all slide down. So when I walked into um, Home Goods today, they had the Boo and then this one says Magical. And this is the mini spatula set. And they're actually quite affordable. They're only $6.99. Go figure. I'm still uh, still a little salty about this, the Boo and Eek, Eek salt and pepper shakers that were like, what, $13? They were $12.99? So these are adorable. I'm going to keep this set and give this set to my friend. So I picked those up at Home Goods, and then I ran into Michael's and um, Target. In Michael's, I picked this bow up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe just use it as an example to make the bow for the top of my pumpkin with all the ribbon I got at the Dollar Tree. Or maybe put this on the top of my uh, tear tray that has my Halloween gnomes and stuff on it. Not sure, but I picked that up. It was on clearance for $1.97. In Target, I picked up this um, metal decor. And here's what, this was in the dollar spot. And here's what I'm thinking about doing. So this right here, I had purchased from Wayfair and it was advertised as a wreath um, but when it arrived it was just a long piece of, of garland and it's really beautiful but you know last year I did kind of put it um, in my windowsill behind my kitchen sink but so I got to putting some pumpkins up the I think I shared with you the gather pumpkin it's kind of the burgundy color and I put that beside the fall and the harvest mugs that were burgundy and orange. And so I kind of wanted some leaves to go in there. And so I got to chopping the garland yesterday somewhere. And then I kind of just twined it, like wound it back up into like a circle to kind of make a wreath. Put it back up. But I think I'm going to have to either, like, see how on the right-hand side it's a little heavier looking, because I think that's where I tucked, tucked it back in as a circle. So I'm going to have to try and make it look more symmetric. Um, what I was wanting to do, I thought if I got something, I could kind of, like, put it on, like, this obviously is way too big for what my original thought was. I was going to go into Michael's and find, I thought, maybe, like, a wooden cut out of the word welcome and like maybe paint it and just kind of hot glue it in there or be able to like secure it in there like um like with a pick or floral wire but I couldn't find anything that I was like I had in my mind that I should be able to find um so I did find this in Target and they had a few other ones they had like home and gather so I think what would be neat is and I don't know, I'm just kind of trying to use these leaves and not waste them. They never were what I originally thought I had ordered. But maybe somehow putting it behind there. Uh, maybe if I widen the circle of this wreath and maybe paint that. Um, hot glue it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, what was the intention of these, anyhow? It just says metal decor. I guess you could really kind of hot glue it to something. Like, if you had, um, 
like a wooden box or a basket. But yeah, I was trying to definitely take the remainder, the remaining garland of these leaves and uh, definitely kind of take some floral, which is what I picked up here, some floral wire and make a wreath for the front door. So I did pick up another wreath hanger for $3.99. So, then also in the Target Dollar Spot, look at the cute little pumpkins. These guys are only a dollar. They're so adorable. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but couldn't pass them up. Um, then uh, they also had this. I got these at Michael's. I think they're 30% off. Got those and the little cobwebs, so I might kind of put those as part of my two-tier tray. But these are adorable. It just says, no tricks, just treats, October 31st, and welcome to our haunted house. And yeah, you can actually hang them. They have little hangers. But I thought maybe leaning those up on, on the two-tier tray might be cute. So that's what I picked up. These are adorable, aren't they? But what I also want to announce is... There is going to be a giveaway in this video. I'm going to give away this Witch's Brew Purple Mug. And it's new with tags. And on the back it has the Witch's Brew recipe. And we had picked this up at HomeSense a few weeks ago. I did pick up an extra one. And I thought we'd go ahead and do a giveaway. So to be a part of the giveaway, uh, to enter to win this Witch's Brew mug, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and in the comments, comment hashtag ReadTheCyberNerd. And we'll pick a winner on October 1st, and we'll get this in the mail out to you so you can enjoy it for Halloween. So to enter to win, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment hashtag ReadTheCyberNerd. And we will pick a winner on October 1st. And lastly, I just want to share with you this black pedestal that I picked up at Home Goods. And this is the cage that was in the Target dollar spot. And I heard someone comment that they were going to put like Ray Dunn bowls in it. I don't think it's big enough to put Ray Dunn bowls in, but let me know. Maybe the ice cream bowls. Um, but my daughter put the, um, I guess that's a crow that she had picked up, I think, from Michael's or maybe the Target dollar spot last year. And then she kind of put some orange lights in there from the Dollar Tree. I think she needs to change the batteries out because they're not very bright. And then I just put a piece of that floral that we had picked up from Michael's last weekend. So if you have that cage from uh, the Target dollar spot this year, this is the one thing you could do with it. Um, but let me know if you can actually fit any Ray Dunn in it and what you're putting in it as far as Ray Dunn. But go ahead and enter to win this adorable little mug. Thanks for watching, guys.